Hey there everybody, it's Mike Delisio with another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. Today we're going to be taking a look at Old Trey coming from Studio H, a co-design by Antoine Bauza, a very acclaimed designer, and John Grumpf, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, and I sure hope I am, with artwork by the extremely talented Vincent Dutrait. Two to four players in about an hour. The Empire is no more and the land is plunged into a dark age. However, one imperial tradition remains. From within their fortresses and strongholds, the rangers tirelessly pursue their lifelong mission, protecting the inhabitants of the realm. Explore the wilderness, unite communities, fight monsters, and recover ancient treasures so that one day hope may be born anew. Now, it is your turn to join the ranks of the rangers. Old Trey! A cooperative and narrative game of breathtaking beauty. All right, well, as might be expected from Vincent Tutrait, I think that is a absolutely gorgeous cover. I'm expecting the artwork throughout to be pretty impressive because I think, as I've said a moment ago, he's one of the most talented artists working today. All right, so we've got our table of contents here. We've got our setup. So it says, play your first game. Ultra offers you a special short chronicle to introduce you to the game, Open Doors. This chronicle comes with three specific assignments for short chronicles. We represent, or we recommend that you use the moderate assignment, a new start for your first game. Okay. So they've got some additional setup here. All right. For two and three player games. And it talks about the different game elements here. The board, the regions, the fortress, our rangers. Resources, provisions, buildings, towers, dice, choices, tests, and consequences. The different chronicles. It says it's a story-driven game. These stories are called chronicles. There are two types, short and long. Chronicles are a series of cards in numerical order that outline the ranger's adventure during the game chapter by chapter. You've got defeat, minor and major victories. All right. Assignments, incidents, problems, events. Gameplay. Play continues until the Rangers win or lose. To win the game, Rangers must successfully complete the last chapter of the Chronicle. The more goals they complete during the game, the more likely they are to win. The Rangers lose the game if the prestige or defense drops to zero or if they fail to successfully complete the last chapter. So, Rangers take turns playing one at a time, moving clockwise. Round is in two phases, determining the adversity and performing two different actions. So it talks about that. And the different actions, two regular actions that must be different. You've got move, rest, call on a community, handle a problem, experience an incident, build a building, repair a building, Build a tower. Then you got special actions, bonus actions, immediate actions, temporary actions. And then the end of the game. We've got some player recommendations here. And a bit of a kind of a overview here on the back. All right. Well, we have what appears to be a folding board. Yes. All right. So... You can see this kind of cardboard board here where you're, it looks like you're going to be placing cards. I believe that's probably where you're placing your chronicle there. I think that's what they called it. And we've got some more cardboard tokens here. The quality on those are very nice. Looks like that's a standee. You're going to be kind of putting that together. We've got some bread there. Actually, quite a few. Oh my, okay. So places to put, oh my goodness, a lot of stuff in here, okay. So cardboard tiles. We've got our ranger tiles here. Could play looks like as many different rangers here. And then we've got our game board. which is gorgeous. Kind of see there, places to place cards all around to this board, which is beautifully illustrated. 
And then again, we've got some different kind of places to keep things. I'm a little bit concerned about opening up these cards. I'm actually just going to show you a little bit here just to kind of give you an idea of the art, but I don't want to spoil stuff. It looks like there is a story element here. I really don't want to mess with that. I'm going to play it safe. That's what I do. We've got some wooden components here. This is just some wooden cubes. We've got a D8 there. We've got a lot of wooden pieces here that appear to be screen printed. So we definitely want to look at these. So you can see some screen printed wooden pieces there that are very, very nice. We've got some custom wooden dice, which also appear to be quite nice. I like those a lot. We have got some screen printed wooden cylinders, as you can see there, and there, and there. And then it looks like we also have some screen printed wooden, looks like fire and rock and leaves and tails of some type. Very intriguing. And then we've got our rangers, our big chunky screen printed wooden rangers. These are really nice. Look at that. Beautiful. go. Definitely want to look at all those. There we are. There's a bunch of these. Okay, one more. All right, so all of our rangers and all of their chunky wooden glory. See what else these flaps may be hiding. Nothing there. And some more cards here. These are large. These are the Chronicle cards, okay? All right. I don't want to show those too much, but these are the big ones that you're trying to complete to uh, win the game. All right. All right. Well, this is a game that I am very, very, very excited about trying. I love the look of it. I do like Antoine Bowser designs usually quite a bit. So, um, although this is a co-design, I don't know if I'm familiar with the other designer, but this is one I'm looking forward to check out. That is Old Trey. Thank you for watching another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing.